Hi, my name is Zaharan Rishabh and I am a computer science graduate from BMS IT Bangalore. For the last two years after graduation, I've been working as a back-end Python developer at Epico Software. And right now, I am going to be pursuing my degree in data science at uh, the SUNY Buffalo. I actually got, uh, found out about Maven through a friend of mine who also went to the US last year. So he had highly recommended Maven uh, counseling services. So that is why I came to Maven. And I would say that the whole experience for me from the beginning, right from the research of universities uh, to the help with SOPs and LORs, and all the way till the filling of the applications and actually preparing for the visa interviews. Everything was very seamless and I received all the help I could possibly get. I do not think it was lacking in any area. So Maven had given me a lot of uh, document samples for me to uh, refer while uh, getting my documents ready. Uh, for example, the SOP and the LOR and uh, several other things, examples from past students. So all this was really helpful because uh, I think the whole master's process can be very daunting and these documents help me to find some structure and also have some guidance in what to follow and get those documents ready on time. So I think uh, going abroad by yourself is definitely possible but it requires a huge amount of research and uh, time which most people do not have uh, usually because they're working or they're currently studying. I think going to a consultancy is a good option because there are many tiny details that you can miss and that might actually cost you heavily in the long run. So personally, I would always recommend going through some consultancy. So before my uh, mock visa interview, I was not very sure about how do I answer some questions. I had definitely had a few choke points in my uh, resume. So after my uh, discussion with uh, Raj Sekar sir, I think all those were cleared very quickly and Right now, I feel much more confident than I was before the mock interviews.